Virgo, welcome to your October 2021 tarot reading. It's Raina here. So, um, I do have an astrology reading for the whole month of October already on my channel, so you can find out some of the details. It's going to be quite a busy, eventful month astrologically. I will mention that when the sun is in Libra, it's in your second house of earned income, which is nice. So that might be lucrative for you. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we get here. And I do have all the lights off. It's in the day and the, <laughs> the, the, um, the blinds aren't completely open. I am going to be getting one of those kinds of overhead things so that the camera angle is better. I have uh, been looking for that. Oops, I'm going to get two cards out here. Yeah, I was wondering about what is happening with you in terms of like promotions or anything like that. I don't know. I guess just astrologically, but that's not, I'm not going to go into that. Um, the height of the matter is the Knight of Swords, and this is a card that is associated with lawyers, other um, professions that are intellectual, like teaching, teachers, and uh, writers, and things like that. So that might be an area, because we do have a, uh, a card that's um, for a new job or something, so maybe... It's either that you're switching careers into this kind of profession or um, that this is what you are coming from. Definitely Virgos can gravitate towards the education, or I don't know if you would say the educational field, because of your rulership, your uh, Mercury connection as a ruler. Um, that just makes you a natural teacher. Um, so, and a writer too, but some of you are going to be very, um, you know, intuitive and things like that. And maybe you have outgrown that profession or you want to do it in a different way. You want to teach something, but it's not that same kind of subject matter, you know? So, uh, the other thing about this card is if you are, contacting a lawyer so for instance uh issues with marriage and or other lawsuits or things like that and um what else it, it as an aspect of yourself you might finally be fed up with something and really just like letting the chips fall where they may so you've been taking something and now you're just like done and you're outspoken. This is a card of somebody who is outspoken. Uh, in the past position, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And this is um, your, you being financially independent. So if there is somebody in your life that comes in and out of your life, and if that, that uh, Knight, of, Knight of Swords is another person, that could be a male and somebody who is um, immature sometimes. I don't like to say that. I mean, it could be like chronologically younger or if they are you know, 40 and above, maybe they're... Um, I don't really like the word immature, though. They're young at heart. How about that? And they it's not that there's anything wrong with them, but perhaps you're not on the same page. Like you want that commitment, whatever that means to you. And this person is very elusive. Gemini's, because this can be an air sign, certainly exemplify that. Um, and they tend to be quite youthful, even as they approach old age. And, uh, and yet they can be very interesting, amusing. So that might be somebody you're dealing with. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I, I think of the Nine of Pentacles as Virgo, because, uh, for whatever reason, Virgo is connected to the Hermit card, and that's number nine in the Major Arcana, so whatever. Um, 
that sense of you having um, autonomy, financial autonomy, or just if you want to make it something more universal, just being your own person, having, being able to take care of yourself, even as this person is in your life. And yet, um, the higher message, the three of wands wanting more from your life. So it's possible that the, the Knight of Swords is like a divorce lawyer or something like that, that you are finally consulting. Be, maybe that was something that was on the fence and the higher message card is saying you want more from life. So if you frame it that way, you're not like looking at yourself as a bad guy, like feeling guilty because you um, are are doing something that you you fear is hurting the other person. And really what is happening is that you are just taking care of your own needs. And with the nine of pentacles, it's saying that you have your own ability to take care of yourself. You don't need, you're not dependent on somebody else. And the whole point is being interdependent, not being like completely dependent. So that's kind of what is happening. And the, the number three and the fire energy is about expansion. So it's about not just staying where you are, but, um, being like more willing to, to seek out growth, which is always a good thing. What crosses you is the Ace of Swords. This can be a card of not having mental clarity. Maybe you're indecisive about something. You still sometimes, and you know, that's, that's, hum, that's a hu human nature kind of a thing because if you are trying to make a decision about a relationship, there may be good parts to it. It's not like it's all bad. And if there is something connected to maybe wanting to start your own business, the same thing. A part of you may like um, the predictability of working for somebody else and getting a, a weekly or biweekly paycheck and that kind of thing. But you just, your soul yearns for um, being creative, being able to maybe travel. I think of the three of wands sometimes as like traveling as well. And all of that gives you a sense of more freedom. So yeah, I mean, what is coming in the queen of pentacles, and this can even be like developments on the home front. Uh, if there's any kind of a home that you are selling that you are kind of tuning into, getting ready, um, working from home, starting that a home-based business. That could be what is going on, really tuning into that earth element. But there's a nurturing quality because the queen connects to the mother. And, and of course, that could even be help from the mother financially. And because of that, you're able to feel even more financially uh, independent, whatever that represents. And we have another queen. It's interesting. Um, these cards came out together, so I'm going to read them as outcome cards. The, the queen of wands, this is a very confident kind of an energy, and yet there is that nurturing quality. So if there is something going on as well, like a, let's say you're divorced, but you are um, the primary caregiver to a child, then this, if you were worried about anything like that, this is an affirmation that you're able to do what you need to do, that you're not going to feel as if you're um, neglecting some area of your life. It's also very confident energy. Um, Fire is connected to the wand, so it's like moving forward and kind of taking whatever is happening in your life and not looking back uh, with regrets or second guessing yourself. And then the additional card is the Ace of Pentacles. And yes, I mean, um, even as we we head into October, there is a new moon in Libra. On um, the 
the 6th of October, and this is going to be in an earth house, the second house of earned income, and that could be uh, perhaps the trigger point the when when this is starting to feel like it is um coming about this could also be money that you receive um so i'm seeing that especially from the mother's side of the family or from real estate matters um i the yeah queen i would yeah associate it with that um also with the the ace of pentacles a new job in general and maybe the opportunity to make more money um from whatever it is that you're doing so that's what i have for you virgo i hope that this resonated if you'd like a private reading i do a lot of astrology readings and i am promoting my double readings are on sale um called deep dive readings and if you like the they're like double chart analysis with the uh, transits for the coming year um which is nice since this is still your even though we've gotten into um libra season you just had your your uh, solar return and it's interesting to see the kind of things that are happening and I have other readings as well. You can click on the link below for more information. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.